My name is Tanya Stevens with 50 is Not Old, and today we're going to talk about a smoky eye. A lot of you might be intimidated by a smoky eye, especially when you're over 45 to 50. It gets a little tricky. Today we have a foolproof smoky eye. Before we get started, make sure you like, comment, and follow my channel. Be sure and ring the bell, and let's get started. Okay, let's get started on this foolproof smoky eye for a daytime look. So a lot of times we think of a smoky eye as being more like glamorous, more going out on the night town, you know, and it's very dark and smoky and gorgeous. But for a daytime look, we just don't need it quite that dramatic, but we still love the look. So I'm gonna be using these three products, and that's all. And so I'm gonna show you how to easily, easily do this, and it's foolproof. So I'm going to start with a fluffy brush. I'm using one that is quite long. It is rounded and quite fluffy. And I'm going to show you the colors of this, sorry, this palette that I'm gonna be using. This is by MAC, and these are just easy, neutral colors, and I'm gonna start with an all over the eyelid, with this. So I'm going to completely cover my entire eyelid and I'm going to do that so that I have like a base coat and everything starts out exactly the same. This has a little bit of shimmer to it but it is still in the same tone as my uh, regular skin tone. So I'm just shimmery and shiny all over today. Shiny, shiny, shiny. So I'll go a little bit underneath my eye also, and then I'm done with this one. So now I'm going to start the creation of the smoky eyes. Hopefully I can get this out of my eyes a little bit. I'm going to pick up another brush. This one is also fluffy, but it is not quite as thick and it's not quite as long bristled. And I'm gonna start with the smoky part first. So this is the dark, dramatic part that might be a little scary for you. This is gonna be super easy, I promise. So I'm gonna start with these colors here, the dark and the charcoal. So this is kind of more like a brick rusty red and this is more of a brown. And I'm just going to tap it a little bit to get the excess off. And I'm just going to go, looky there, I'm making a stripe. That's pretty much it. Uh, you can make your stripe as long as you want and everything, but I'm just gonna make that stripe. I'm gonna do the very same thing to the other side. And let's make it a little bit more dramatic. It's not quite as dark as the other side. And that's the thing of it. You can always play to make it more dark, less dark, whatever. Now we're going to uh, clean that brush off a little bit. And we're going to, I'm just cleaning it off. And I'm going to go in with another medium shade. And I'm going to go with this little bit taupey shade and a darker taupey shade. So the two taupe shades, and I'm gonna put it right in the middle, but I'm not gonna extend up into the crease line like I did the other one. I'm gonna stay on the actual lid itself. So those two colors blended together, staying on the lid in the center of the eye. Okay, cleaning it off. Woo, watch that color fly. This is pretty pigmented, so it stays really well. Now, I'm going to go in with this, um, more of a peach color, more of a rose color, and just a tad of that ivory color. And I'm gonna do this on the inside, lid only. So I've basically layered three colors. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a tapered brush. This is long and tapered. And I'm gonna put it in this 
snow white color. I got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of pigment on that. And I'm just going to go under my eyebrow, both sides, and then I'm going to tap it on the inside of my eyelid just a little bit underneath. Okay, now this is the easy part. Uh, I'm going to take first, I'm going to take this. So this is a wide and fluffy, but it's short and fluffy. So I'm going to, I'm not needing the eye palette anymore, I'm going to take this and I'm going to blend this into the crease first. Blend it into the crease. Basically, I'm just going to see if my eye was open. It's in the crease and a tiniest bit above it. So into the crease and a tiniest bit above it. And I'm going to take one really long, fluffy, round brush and just kind of blend it all together. Just lightly blending it all together. And up here at the top, blending it all together. Blend it all together up at the top. I don't want any harsh lines. And so that's super easy. While I have this one short stubby brush, I'm going to go into those two darker colors I had earlier. So the two darker ones, just a little bit on each side. And I'm just going to put it a little bit underneath that eye because I forgot to do them all ago so that the bottom matches the top a little bit. And I'm just going to fluff that out a little bit. All I've got to do now is add an eyeliner and a mascara. And I'm going to be using a brown bronzy eyeliner this time. This is by uh, MAC also. If it was night time, then I might use the black. This is more brown bronze, and so it's not quite as harsh. I'm going up toward where my eyebrow ends and underneath, connecting the, that little spot. Make sure that both places connect, and I'm going upward. Same thing with this eye. Going up toward my eyebrow into the crease. Going just about halfway, a little over halfway. Connecting the lower eye and a tiny bit, extending. Once again to about halfway and always rub up to lift your eyes up. And then let's finish it with this Elia uh, Limitless Lash Mascara and our smoky eye is done. I love the brush on this one. It separates really well. And I'm probably way up close, too close and personal for you. But when you wear contacts, sometimes you have to get really close to see how everything's going. And if you just saw there, I got a smidge on my nose. It's really lightweight, very lightweight. It's very lightly, not a big dollop, but do not, if you make a mistake, if you do it on your eyes, your face, your cheek, whatever, do not take off your mascara right then. Instead, I'll show you how to get rid of that in just a second. You have to let it dry first. I usually only apply one coat of mascara. It's hard to see if I'm coating very good, but hopefully that looks good enough. Let me see if I can find a Q-tip. Yes. So I'm just going to use this Q-tip. And what you do is after the mascara has dried, you just basically move it off and it will not come off. <laughs> I don't know why that's not coming off. Maybe maybe because it was just a tiny bit instead of a um, is that my skin? Why won't that come off? Crazy 
crazy, crazy. I guess in this case, I'm just going to have to put a little powder over that. I don't know. Anyway, this is it. Foolproof, smoky eye, perfect for daytime. What do you think?